Hey guys, and welcome to my next reaction to Supernatural. So, <laughs> um, I really loved the last episode. I feel like both Dean and Sam got onto, like, I don't know. There was just a couple of moments where they actually, it sounded like they actually, you know, God forbid they admit that they slightly care for each other. You know what I mean? <laughs> but, um... I, I'm I'm very excited to uh, just continue on in this journey, and I'm sure that they'll be fighting in this episode again. Like, I, I don't have high hopes that it'll last, but it was sweet for, you know, at least one episode. All right, let's get into it. We got those hooked up to 2,000 volts. Oh, okay. shit. Yeah, I want this raw head extra freaking crispy. I remember, you only get one shot with these things. Oh! Oh my god! Is it still here? Okay. Oh, the babies. Oh, yeah, you gotta get the kids out, but. Oh, what? I don't even. The fuck? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. No! What is going on? The electrocution triggered a heart attack. Massive, I'm afraid. His heart is damaged. I give him a couple of weeks at most, maybe a month. No, no, there's, there's gonna be something. Whoa! Treatment. Oh god, seeing daytime TV. It's terrible. I'm gonna die. Then you can't stop it. Watch me. This is John Winchester. It's Dean. He's sick and uh Oh the doctor said there's nothing they can do. Um and do whatever it takes to get him better. Oh, uh, Oh, shit. Sam, what does that mean? <gasps> Dean! What the hell are you doing here? I checked myself out. Are you crazy? You're not gonna let me die in peace, are you? I'm not gonna let you die, period. Oh! Hey, Sam in the last episode just admitted that you are all he has, so... I'm a little concerned about what the fuck this is, though. Like a healer or something? Oh. I believe you brought me here to see some guy who heals people out of a tent. Robert LaGrange is a great man. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe God works in mysterious ways. <gasps> Maybe he does. <laughs> well, apparently my brother here believes enough of the both of us. Come on, Ella. What a start. Oh my god, Julie! She can work in some mysterious ways. Oh my dean. No matter how he's feeling, how much pain he's possibly in. One track mind. One track mind. No, don't miss her here. You're sitting up front. No, Sam! I'm sorry, I shouldn't be laughing, but it's kind of... Perfect. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. By helping me see into people's hearts. Amen. Yeah, better than wallets. You think so, young man? Oh! Sorry. I, I want you to come up here with me. Oh no. Oh no. This is. Dean hates this. No, it's okay. What are you doing? Are you doing? <laughs> oh boy. Oh my god. Sam is like, I drove all this way for you to get healed, so. <laughs> What's happening? Oh, all right, yeah. I feel like something's going to work. <laughs> ah! Well, 
Well, something happened to Dean. According to all your tests, there's nothing wrong with your heart. No sign there ever was. <gasps> Not that a man your age should be having heart trouble, but, uh, well, just yesterday, a young guy like you, 27, athletic, out of nowhere, heart attack. Thanks, Doc. No problem. People's hearts give up all the time, man. No, they don't. Look, Dean, do we really have oh. to this one in the mouth? Why can't we oh, just no. think that the guy saved your life? You said I've been hunting long enough to trust a feeling like this. Yes. Trust in Dean. But I'm glad you're yeah. better. Why don't you go check out the heart attack guy? I'm gonna visit the Reverend. Yeah, I'm slightly concerned that, like, it, it was at the cost of somebody else. I feel great. A young man with an important purpose. A job to do. And it isn't finished. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Wait, what's wrong? I have this thing. It's a brain tumor. In six months, the doctors say... Oh, God. I'm sorry. Why do you deserve to live more than my daughter? Oh, wow. Okay. I mean, I can understand her frustration. Everyone was healed, six people over the past year, and I cross-checked them with the local obits. Every time someone was healed, someone else died. I think I probably would have died anyway, and someone else would have been healed. You never should have brought me here. Ah. Uh, and now. He didn't know, but it's understandable that Dean is. The thing oh, I don't understand is how is Roy doing it? There's only one thing that can give and take life like that. We're dealing with a Reaper. Whoa! Ah, uh, the song. Say the guy's playing God, he's deciding who lives and who dies. That's a monster in my book. No, we're not gonna kill a human being. Oh, this we is interesting. better than he is. Roy LaGrange, he is a fraud. He's no healer. Hey, Amen, brother. You keep up the good work. Thank you. Oh. That guy probably gets no, like, affirmation all day, so I, just, I felt that. Yeah, somebody needs to clean your fucking shelf, honestly. Oh my god. Oh. <gasps> He's the next guy! Where is he? Layla. Layla Roar, come up here, child. Oh, of course it's her. Of course. Here we go. Why wouldn't at least let him try? Because if you do something bad, it's gonna happen. I can't explain it, just needs to believe me. Please. It's a bit vague, and, like, I don't blame her if she goes anyway. I'm sorry. Yeah, Wait. shit. Wait. Shit. I feel bad for Dean, because you know he, he feels bad. Oh. No. Fuck. Oh boy. So Get her, Dean. Help! Help me! Yeah. Oh! So annoying! Lord will deal with him as he sees fear. Oh, God. People put the fear of God in you, understand? Oh, really? Yes, sir, fear of God. I know it doesn't seem fair. And I wish I could explain, but Roy is not the answer. I'm sorry. Oh, God. I wish you luck. I really do. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh, my God, that breaks my heart. Oh my god, I'm like so like emotional. Like he has any idea what his wife's doing. And God save us from half the people who think they're doing God's work. We gotta break that mind spell, Dean. So you think we gotta find the cross or destroy the altar? Maybe both. Just be thorough.
You know, if Roy would have picked Layla instead of me, she'd be healed right now. Damn, dumb. And if she's not healed tonight, she's gonna die in a couple months. You said it yourself, Dean. You can't play God. Oh, God. Is it? But it's... <sighs> That's horrible. I just gotta be eating him up. Hey, everyone, gather around. Gonna put that fear of God in me? Good diversion. Okay, Sam, let's get it. Let's get this bitch. Sam. Ah. Oh, oh, the boy. <gasps> oh, no. Put an X on Dean's face like that. Ew. No, 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 lady. Oh, what's really sad is like, like Dean would probably want to give himself up, but Sam's not gonna let that happen. Oh shit. See, I feel like he's kind of just like part of him just wants to let it happen because. God. Wow. Oh, sweetie. Yeah, I don't think it's going to go well for you. Imagine. What is it? He's we did the right thing here, didn't we? Of course we did. You did. It didn't feel like it. Sam called. He said you wanted to say goodbye. Ah! I'm gonna grab my Sora. Sam! And Savannah. She's dead, you know? Stroke. Mm. Yeah, I heard. It must be rough. To believe in something so much. I have to disappoint you like that. Oh. I hope that's not foreshadowing you for your father. Weird. Guess if you're gonna have faith, you can't just have it when the miracles happen. You have to have it when they don't. Oh, wow. That's really nice. You know, I'm not much of a praying type. I'm gonna pray for you. Oh, Dean. There's a miracle right there. Yeah. <laughs> that was really sweet. Oh, my eyes are watering. Oh, that's, oh, that was it. Oh, that last little bit got me. Oh, that was such a good episode. That was that was amazing because we have a, a bit of a moral dilemma and I like um I like when shows kind of explore that kind of stuff. Um you know, obviously I I thought by the end of the episode Dean would be okay. That would be kind of strange if Dean died and um mid first season. But um a bunch of really great things about this episode. I mean, obviously, we talk about, um, particularly, I, I feel like with, with Sam in this episode, he, it just proved, you know, I feel like the last episode was him kind of saying, you're all I have left. And, and I need to, to, to appreciate you or, or just, just focus on that. Focus on the fact that you're all that I had left. And I think something that maybe wasn't dwelled on as much in this episode, but I think was very real, is the fact that Sam was deathly terrified of losing Dean. 
Um, if Sam did lose Dean, I mean, we can all pretty much imagine that he would go like one way to get right to crazy town. You know what I mean? Because like after everything that he's been through and after Jessica, like he, that's the last thing he needs. And I just absolutely, you know, felt, really felt for him. Um, uh, I, I felt for Dean more, but I'll get to that in a second. But I, I feel like that that would have been really, really tough for him. And this episode kind of proved that Sam will go to whatever lengths to, you know, like as soon as he's like, okay, I'm going to find some healers and this, that, and the other thing. And are there success stories? And we're going to go. And Dean, you can bitch this whole time, but we're going to fucking do it. And I'm going to fucking heal you. Like, I mean, he didn't, but you know what I mean? But like, um, that, like... I think it really just showcased how much Sam actually does really deeply care for his brother and, and that was really sweet to see. Obviously the other thing uh, being with, with Dean is it, it, it just the idea that not only did somebody, he kind of got hit with a one-two punch of the fact that, that somebody died for him to get healed, but also if he died if he let that happen, I mean, Sam was the one who ended it, but if he let that happen, this, this girl that he, he kind of sees as, um, as an innocent, he sees as a, as a, a sweet girl that has, you know, not much, you know, um, he sees pretty regularly such like awful people terrible people, people doing stuff for, for selfish reasons or, or just kind of awful reasons. And he sees a lot of ugly in the world. And so he finally sees this girl who I think is, is just nice and sweet and kind and compassionate. Like there's not anything really, you know, um, bad to really say about her. And he, you know, I, I think he kind of sees it like if, if anybody actually deserves to live, it's this girl. And, you know, I think that that was probably kind of a big reason that, you know, when the we the Reaper came for him, he just, you know, he kind of was like, okay, I'm just going to let this happen. I mean, he struggled a little bit, but he wasn't like, he wasn't trying to get away or whatever because, you know, he knew what was happening. He knew it was Layla and... He was kind of okay with it, but Sam was not. Um, and a hundred percent, I think a hundred, five hundred percent, if the roles were reversed, uh, Dean would have done the same thing and, and stopped it. Um, and that was kind of this, uh, it's just a really important, I, I, I don't know. I just, I just, I thought that this was a really important episode. Um, you know, not just, uh, obviously everything that that kind of went down I, I thought the story was great I thought the the idea was great but just kind of what um you know we kind of really saw Dean be a bit vulnerable in this episode I think we saw we we saw something very similar in episode three um where he was kind of relating to the kid and 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 all of that but like we got we really did see him his heart kind of come out a little bit and you know um, I have a feeling and again I don't I don't know everything about these characters and the story and everything just yet but I have a very very strong feeling that Dean feels very deeply and that his emotions are probably pretty strong a lot of the times and he's got a big big heart um, you know, I, th I, I think Sam uh, probably does as well, um, but I think, but he, and I think all of it is a defense mechanism and a shield because, I mean, you could tell it was just breaking his heart that, you know, he got healed, just a, a matter of timing, a matter of he just got selected first. He got healed before this girl could, this girl who, who in his mind probably deserves it more. Though you can make a case that that's not really true because he's probably going to go on to save a ton of lives and, and 
and keep fighting this fight. So, so maybe, yeah, I mean, you could make the case that, that that's not really the, the true, but, um, in his mind to just see somebody so kind of, um, just innocent get kind of fucked by this whole ordeal is, is sucks. And, um, it's not like a, a happy win at the end of the day. It's not like we got the bad guys, we saved the people and everything's great. Like it, it, it's really kind of a gray area. I personally love when shows like this kind of talk about the gray area and, and discuss it and all of that. Anyway, I thought this was great. What an amazing episode. I mean, just, uh, and, and again, these past two episodes have been really great for Sam and Dean and building their relationship. I am so excited to see where it's going to go. You know, obviously I think we're kind of building up, but we have to be building up to something. I don't entirely know what, but we're building up to something probably towards the end of the season. And what does that mean? Are we going to find out answers about what happened to Jessica? But not only plot wise are we building up to the end of the season, I genuinely think we're building up to to uh, Sam and Dean having a very strong relationship and probably I'm assuming maybe towards the end of the season it might be tested. You know, um, we've really established that they're kind of at odds a bit. Then we're going to kind of talk about them, you know, um, or the, we're going to explore, I guess, them understanding each other, risking their lives for each other, all of that stuff. Um, and hopefully building a bond over these, these, these episodes. And, and, uh, but I have a feeling at the end, it's all gonna, all gonna be really interesting to, to see where this is all leading up to, um, and how this relationship is, is gonna stand up to whatever might get thrown at them, which I'm assuming will possibly be a lot. Um, but yeah, I, I enjoyed this episode a lot. This was a really, really good one. Um, and yeah, I think that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.